I'm going to be completely honest. I am that person who always laughs at like people's jokes in a group setting like five seconds after everyone else. And I think this is just because I'm such a slow thinker in like daily life. And so when I was first getting into the studying, I had no idea how I was going to get through it. Like if I couldn't even keep up with my friend's jokes, how was I going to do well on this like super time intensive exam? My name is Andrea from MedLife Mastery. And my MCAT journey was full of struggles. Like when I first started, it would take me like 15 minutes to get through a passage. When I actually would go and like take practice exams, I would not finish a single section, especially cars. That was my worst one. And even just going through all the passages, I was struggling because I could feel my eyes going like much slower than they should be. But somehow I ended up getting a 522 on the MCAT. And this was because I picked up different strategies to help me get through the exam as a slow test taker. But first of all, I just want to start off by saying there's nothing wrong with being slow. For all my like slow test takers out there, like I just want to say you should embrace the slowness because it's a virtue and a curse. Processing information slowly and being a slow test taker means that you process information more thoroughly. You take your time to look at what's presented to you. At least this was the case for me because I was like dissecting every single answer choice and every single word in the questions them like it was like a was like oh the author was very passionate and then b was like the author was um, mostly and then a different word i would focus on like very and mostly and really be like oh my god like what is the difference between very and mostly like I would spend minutes on that same question thinking it through the whole scenario and honestly this is a good thing right like when you're taking the MCAT you're supposed to pay attention to these little details and little words and you know when I was going through this and looking at all these little details I would actually get a lot of questions right but at the same time I literally took forever going through all the passages and the irony of it is like the MCAT's such a long test it's seven and a half hours long but at the same time, through every section, I felt rushed the full time. I felt like, oh my gosh, I do not have enough time. But, but yes, my slow test taking really had me fighting with the clock to get through all of the passages and time at first. But somehow I was able to fix my timing and I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it in just a few steps. The very first one is to like take care of your body, right? At first, um, I wasn't sleeping very well. I didn't take enough snack like I was hungry just because when I'm stressed I like hyper focus on whatever I'm studying for but it's very important to nourish your body you need to make sure your needs are taken care of so make sure you're hydrated make sure you have food and sleep because if you're sleep deprived your brain's gonna literally be slower and same thing for food if you're hungry like at least for me, I'm like very big on food. I get hangry. Also, sometimes caffeine can really amp up the adrenaline and make you go faster. I'm, I'm just kidding. Like, you, you don't need a drink. At least for me, it makes me really anxious. But I, I honestly, I did drink coffee when I was taking the MCAT. For some people, it works. So that's all I'm gonna say. I'm just putting it out there. Um, another strategy I did to help me improve my test taking was to make myself comfortable with the the pace that the passages go and so very first thing that i did is i did untimed passages right like this is what i did with cars and you can do this with any section though but i did like a couple of untimed cars passages i did like three to four per day untimed but i did take note of how long it took me to take these tests without time pressure it was around 16 minutes after those three days the next day or two i would aim for 15 minutes and 30 seconds and I would time myself this time, but not with the stringent MCAT 10 minute or like eight to 10 minute timing. I I did it with like just 30 seconds less than what it took me the day before. And then after I was done with the 15 minutes and 30 seconds, I would time myself and stop at 15 minutes and so on. I would keep deducting like 30 seconds until I got to like the eight to 10 minute mark that I needed for test day. And through this, I was able to train my brain to keep the accuracy of my answers and I was also getting the timing of it. My brain was initially not used to reading so fast and slowly I was able to like get my brain used to that and at the end of this like strategy I did um, I only felt slightly rushed compared to the beginning where I felt extremely rushed. This was a great improvement that really got me 
to the great score that I got on test day. If you'd like to learn more about the specific strategies, Midlife Mastery's MCAT strategy course can speed up some of these thinking processes during the test by just becoming more comfortable with test taking strategies. Also, if my journey with slow test taking resonates with you, I'm available to be your tutor. I'd be happy to give you more tips and tricks to overcome slow test taking. Other small things that can help specifically for the timing issues are sometimes people take a lot of time on the math and I was one of those people like I'm gonna spend like five minutes on this and just stuck on that one math problem but one thing that I think is pretty good is to look up math shortcuts. Like literally just Google MCAT math shortcuts. There's a bunch of stuff that'll come up and this will help you get through the, those math questions faster. Another thing is to make sure you have your formulas memorized. If you're spending time trying to think of the content rather than thinking of the question that's being asked, it'll make your test taking slower. So make sure you have your formulas memorized, your content's all good. And another thing is to make sure when you're practicing, it's very important that you have a quiet space because, oh my God, one time I went to the, the library and this was very close to my test date. So I was like, okay, like I'm getting this timing down. And the marching band started playing outside the library and I could not, I could not focus. I was just listening to like the marching band. I was like, oh, like these are some cool beats. You should definitely find a quiet space where you can focus and practice. But ultimately I want all of you to know that there's no shame in being a slow test taker. Slowness will not stop us. I would still say I'm like pretty slow in daily life. To be honest, at least for test taking, you're definitely able to overcome it um, just with practice and training. So you all got this. Good luck with your test taking. And that's all for me. Thank you.